This video brings you a bamboo water cooling set. Let's unpack first. What we opened is the expansion board. There is an AMS cable and expansion board inside. The second is a water cold and hot end set we specially developed for bamboo. This is an extruder for a water cooled kit. The case is CSE machined from aluminum alloy and has a black anodized coating looks really nice. The water cooling hot end kit includes some free thermal paste. When we set out to design this water cooling kit, our main aim was to. We wanted bamboo users to be able to print with high temp filaments in a heated chamber without the fear of clogging. That's a cool extruder. This includes a thermistor and heater. Finally, we have our water-cooled hot end. Now, let me show you how to install the hot end. Let's deal with the extruder first. Remove the two screws securing the cover plate. Remove the two screws that secure the hot end in place. Insert the hot end in the indicated direction. The direction of the water pipe is on the right. Then we are screwing back the screw that fixed the hot end. Check it after install it. Then install the cover. Install the screws that fix the cover back. We apply some paste here. Just squeeze a tiny bit. We applied a bit too much here. Then we wipe off the excess paste and continue to install. Let's put in the thermistor first. We dip a little bit of paste in the thermistors. Then we spread the paste evenly. Install the clamp to secure the heater and thermistor in place. Put on the case. You'll want to have the printed parts ready before installing the water cooling. But before installation we need to install 4 and 3 hot melt nuts on the board. Just use a soldering iron to melt it and don't press too hard, it'll go in smoothly on its own. Taking the tank out, we can see that it has two access points at the top. We screw the lid on the right. Add water-cooled liquid at the back and unscrew it, so you can leave it unscrewed. Screw the lid with the water outlet on the left. There is a pipe on the left inside the pipe that needs to be identified here. Screw on the connector between the pipe and the pump. Put it directly on the parts we printed. After putting it on, we install the screws for the water pump. Just to double check the hole I'm pointing at here is where we need to install the screw. We screwed on the four short set screws that came with the kit. This completes the installation of the water tank and pump. The following is the installation of the water cooling fan. Take off the two caps on the radiator. Then install the two fittings with tubing onto the radiator ports. Check which way the fan is blowing. You want the airflow going in the right direction for cooling. Take out the included long screw and fix the fan to the cold row.
Do the same for the remaining holes. Now it's time to attach the radiator to the printed part. 4 M36 screws are used for the installation. Make sure this is tightened securely, otherwise the radiator may fall. Let's start by removing original print head. Once that's off, the next step is to remove the spring from the extruder. We first remove the screws from the four extruders. Then take it apart and unscrew the screws that fix the extruder gears. Take out the spring and small iron sheet. Put it in the new extruder. Then we have to remove the new extruder. There are three screws on the front and one screw on the back. There is a screw on the back that needs to be removed. Remove these screws and open the extruder. Install the springs and sheet of the original extruder that have just been removed. Screw in the extruder tension adjustment screw. Be careful not to be too tight like in the video, and it is over screwed. Just screw it to fit and be a little elastic. You can adjust and test the feed as long as it is suitable. Put all the screws back in place. Here we want to keep the original jam detect module. The cutter part needs to be careful to prevent cuts. The jam detect module needs to be installed on the extruder first. Screw onto screws. After the installation is complete, we install the cutter. Make sure you're looking at the direction the arrow is pointing. You need to take a screwdriver to adjust the angle slightly upward. Use a screwdriver to slightly adjust the angle upward. Then we fix the extruder screw. Screw on the first extruder screw. This is the second one. The last one. Then we install the wiring harness of the print head. 
Let's start by plugging in the thermistor wires. Now let's connect the wires for the ceramic heater. This is the fan module included in the package. Its function is to simulate the fan signal. This must be plugged in, otherwise an error will be reported when printing. Organize the water tubes and route them properly to avoid kinks or being pinched by the front panel. Then we install the screws for the front cover. Then tighten the screws of the three cover plates. Then install the front of the print head and connect the fan terminal first. The wires and tubes won't block the front cover from fitting properly. Remove the filament tube. Pull out the original rubber case. Find the 3D model files for the printed parts in the video description below. Then insert the water pipe and consumables conduit. Now we'll feed the tube through. Now, let's discuss how to properly connect the water tubes. Here's a quick tip. When routing the two cooling tubes to the hot end, leave one a little longer than the other. The specific length can be adjusted according to your radiator you put. Then plug it in and tighten it. The same goes for the other one. Once you've got the tube on the cooler, just give it a little push to make sure it's fully seated. Prevent leak or water pipes from falling off. The longer tube goes to the water tank. Just connect the pump and the radiator together with the remaining tube. Next we install the board. I already connected the positive and negative leads for both the pump and the fan before this step. I added a simple terminal for the wiring. The cooler runs on 12 volts, so just plug it into the matching 12 volts port on your board. This is the AMS adapter interface. This interface connects to the printer. We supply both 12 volt and 24 volt power supplies. Just make sure to follow the plus and minus signs don't mix them up. The water cooling won't affect how the AMS switches filaments. Take out the 4-pin cable and connect it to the printer. Last step, this one for us after confirming that our pipelines are all connected. We unscrew the lid of the water tank and pour water cooled liquid. It is best to use our coolant. So the first time we pour a portion of it.
then run the water into the pipe. Then we pour it halfway. Next is PRA printing and warehouse temperature display. 